Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on this video, I'm gonna give you my best picture settings for this 55 inch Samsung Q60D. Now there's a couple things that you gotta be aware of. This is the 55 inch, and I calibrated this particular TV, so you can use my settings. They may or may not work, and they may not work on different sizes, but at the end of the day, you can always clear out the settings and go back to the way it was. This is the only size I have available, so keep that in mind. I'm not gonna be able to calibrate the other sizes. The Q60D out of the box was pretty accurate. I was very impressed with how well the color levels were. But after the calibration was done, I was able to get a little bit better picture out of this television. One of the great things about using the Calmin software for me is that this TV supports automatic calibration. So basically you go into the network settings, get the IP address, hook up your pattern generator, your computer, and the TV pretty much calibrates itself, which is pretty good, and that's where I got these settings. Before I give you the calibration settings, I just wanted to show you the different picture profiles on this television. This is dynamic, which is the brightest picture available on this television. We also have standard, which is good for watching your everyday content like sporting events. You have equal mode that dims the picture down to save energy. And then we have movie mode, which is great for watching movies. It gives you a really great image. And after going through all these settings, I think it still works pretty good. Now, as far as the calibration settings, I'll put everything in filmmakers mode. And later on, I'm going to give you all the settings that you can go in and adjust this if you want to try it out on your television. Now, the filmmakers mode is generally made for certain metadata on certain movies, but I overrided the system so I could show you the difference. So again, there's your movie mode and there's the calibration filmmakers mode. As you see here, it's really slight difference in the brightness. But overall, I think both images look good. And again, this is settings you could try just because you guys are asking for it. And here's another example for you. This is the movie mode from the factory. And this is the filmmakers mode with the calibration adjustments. So it's, again, it's very slight changes, but it really comes down to if you like that look a little bit better. I think it brings in a little bit more shadow detailed also on the filmmakers mode. But with that being said, let's go ahead so I can give you these settings. The first thing you wanna do is go into the picture profiles. And if you need to, go and select whatever profile you wanna put these settings. If you don't use the equal mode, I would recommend putting it there, but filmmakers mode is what the calibration software gave me as an option. And we have a lot of settings to put in here, so let's go and get started. First under expert settings, I have the brightness at 31. You can pump that up if you like, but again, this is a recommended setting. Contrast, you're gonna be at 50. Sharpness at zero. And again, you can adjust this. The calibration software turns everything off whenever it sets everything up. Color at 25, tent at zero. And you can select all sources. So no matter what you plug in through your HDMI ports, you'll get these settings. Picture clarity, you definitely wanna turn back on just because this is where you get the motion rates and you can control the judder. And we have the color tone at warm too. Now there's gonna be two different settings we're gonna put these points in. Under white balance, this is where the calibration settings are. So there's a two point and a 20 point and there's settings under both of them. So under two point, under red gain, negative nine, green gain, zero, blue gain, negative 10, red offset, zero, green offset, negative eight, and blue offset at negative six. Now let's go over to the 20 point settings. And you want to set this at 30. You want to set your red at 36, your green at 37, and the blue at 45. Now going back to the main expert settings, I have the gamma at BT1886. And here's the color space settings, and there's a lot of changes inside of here. Make sure you toggle over to custom, and we're going to start off with red. So under red, you're going to have the red at 33, the green at 61, the blue at 59. You want to then press on the color and we can go down to the next color as you can see it's green. Under green we have the red at 75, the green at 25, and the blue at 48. Now go over to your blue. You have red at 50, green at 50, and blue at 29. Under yellow we have red at 46, green at 25, blue at 51. Under Scion, red at 75, green at 25, blue at 75. 
And the last one is magenta. We have red at 50, green at 75, and blue at 75. So that's the settings that I have in here. And keep in mind, if you have certain cell phones, you can calibrate this TV using the phone. But this is a more accurate reader with a light meter and pattern generator. And if you don't like these settings, you always can go down here at the bottom and hit reset picture, and it'll put it back to your factory settings. That's all we have on this video, and I hope these settings work out for you, but I want to leave you with a fun fact. If you don't like this newer remote control, you can, in some cases, use the older Samsung remote control. Now, why would you do that? First, you have a number pad on it. You also have this info button so you can see what frames the television is. You have a settings button so you can easily get to your settings. You have a source button so you can easily get to your inputs, but you will lose the voice control because that's set up with Bluetooth and this is just IR. But if you guys use these settings, let me know if they're working out for you because I want to make more videos like this. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Tech Steve and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.